Hello, I'm Matt from Drobo, and today I'm going to show you a live demo of the Drobo dashboard. The Drobo dashboard is our management utility. We co-release it on OS X as well as Windows, and under either operating system, it's going to handle all aspects of your storage. Everything from managing your Drobo, provisioning storage, to actually mapping it to the host no matter what the interface. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up our Drobo dashboard. First, it's going to go out on our network. It's going to detect all the Drobos available to manage. You see here, it's auto-populated with a couple. But let's say I had a Drobo in a data center, maybe across a VPN connection. Well, I could add it here by IP address. And then any time I loaded the dashboard, it would show up with all of my auto-detected devices. So here, I have an overhead view of all Drobos across my entire infrastructure. I'm going to go ahead and pick this B1200. As I come in, I'm going to have a general overhead view of the unit. At Drobo, everything's light-based, red, yellow, green. So we see everybody's green. We're in a consistent state. And if I had an alert, I'd have uh, the red, yellow, or uh, green lights. If I come through, I can go ahead and click on some of the subsystems of the unit. So here, I can see my power supplies are good, but maybe a little more useful on the uh, B1200i. I can come over here to the performance load. So here I can get some IOPS information, some read and write throughput, uh, and get some good performance uh, metrics there. All right, on a Drobo, there's only one setting you need to configure before you can start utilizing the unit, and that's going to be IP address information. So as we come over here, B1200i, we have three iSCSI ports. Each one that you use is going to require a static IP address, and we have a management port. On that, it's going to be either DHCP or static, and no matter what you choose, it's still going to be auto-detected by the unit. But on those iSCSI ports, we do support not only multipathing in order to use the combined throughput of all three ports, but we do also support jumbo frames, even though it's not configured on this one, in order to get a little higher throughput. So we come over to the Preferences tab. Here, we can uh, see email alerts. On a Drobo, there's three ways to obtain alerts. The first, those visual alerts, red, yellow, green, so I know the status of my unit. Next, any host that has the dashboard installed that has visibility to the Drobo will get kind of an Outlook-style pop-up in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. And then last here, as I've brought up, I can go ahead and configure email alerts, put in a to, a from, and a mail server. And then anytime I have a disk or a hardware event, maybe my IT administrator or network management software will receive that alert and can be dealt with accordingly. But with that, your Drobo is configured, put those IP addresses on, and now we're ready to go ahead and provision volumes and work with our unit. The Drobo, it's just that simple to get things set up.